Okay, so uh, today's hike um, will be a uh, um, uh, Kade Berowin, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, and uh, it's going to be quite high at uh, over 2,700 feet. So this is one to take very, very seriously in terms of the preparation um, using a paper map uh, as I'm going up. Um, and um, we're going to be starting in the car park towards the south at um, the Tunnel Pistol over here, heading northwest. And then uh, there should be some kind of a waterfall, I think, over here. And then we're going to take a path that's going to go up on a quite a steep initial gradient, as the contour lines are very thin uh, over here, uh, thinly spaced. And then we're going to head northwest along uh, a track. Uh, it should be a fairly gentle ascent up until uh, Trammel Velen at 691 metres, and then from here uh, we should have beautiful views towards the east um, as we have a nice ridge over here. Um, and then uh, we'll take to the f to the second um, uh, part of the summit on Mal Sitch. Um, and then once we get to Mal Sitch, we're just going to uh, follow the ridge on the northeast, uh, maybe a little bit to the west of that, because uh, that might be a bit scary. <laughs> um, and then that should take us to the final uh, summit over here at Cadiz Berona. Then we should have beautiful um, takeoff to the uh, southeast uh, and, and the east, actually, over here. So I'm hoping that the um, the uh, SSB uh, takeoff uh, angle in the, uh, will, will, be, will be very, very favourable towards the east. Um, and uh, and that's basically the route. On the way uh, back down, um, I'm going to try and go via this walk over here, um, as it will, I think, cross I mean, the uh, lake over here, and um, a, maybe a couple of uh, lakes uh, as well. Um, so that should be that should be really really nice, uh, and that should take us back to the car park um, at the uh, Tunnel Pistol. Whenever you're doing a, a very serious hike, so anything really uh, well from a four-pointer, really, um, you really do need to consider the weather very seriously. Um, anything really above one thousand five hundred feet, um, the weather can uh, can be very dangerous um, and can change very quickly. So it's important to keep an eye on the mountain weather. So the mountain forecast uh, weather dot com. Uh, is an amazing website that allows you to look at any any summit uh, and get a detailed uh, report for the current day, the day after, uh, up to up to a week. Uh, and we also have the freezing temperatures as well. So if we look at uh, Wednesday morning, which is when we plan to go over here, we can see we've got an AM and a PM prediction. We've got clear in the morning, clear in the afternoon, and clear at night. The most important thing, however, here is the wind speed, um, because this can be very, very dangerous above 30 miles an hour, which is probably around 45 kilometers per hour. Um, and uh, at the moment, we've got a, um, an east northerly east wind at uh, 20 kilometers um, and 25 dying off to 20 in the night. So that's that's well within the limits. Uh, and if for whatever reason, if we're actually stuck there for a while, even in, into Thursday and Friday as well, um, uh, we've got amazing weather. Uh, uh, no clouds, low winds, so that's all really good. We can also take a look here at the freezing level. Um, so we know that uh, Cade Bowen is uh, 826 metres. Um, freezing level here is uh, close to four kilometres, so way, way above um, the uh, the peak of the of the summit uh, from Wednesday until Thursday. You can see that the actual um, uh, freezing level does start to decrease a little bit uh, from uh, Saturday and Sunday. But again, um, not, uh, not not by very much at all, really. So so that's that's good. So if we were to go to four four kilometres, that's when water would start to freeze. So uh, we get we can get a little bit of an idea here. Um, and then there's some uh, predictions on precipitation as well and the wind chill factor. So so that's also really important uh, because the wind can make you feel a lot colder than it, than it really is. But I do intend to set the tent up when I get to the top, which should shield me from uh, any wind. Uh, gloves are really important, at least two pairs, um, because they can be uh, a matter of life and death, actually, not, not having right gloves. Your hands can, um, can freeze very quickly, and then you won't be able to do anything. You won't even be able to um, zip up your coat. So 
having two pairs of gloves um, is really important. I've got a very, very warm pair, uh, totally waterproof. And then I've got another pair, which is much thinner, uh, which allows me to operate the radio, but keep the wind off. I've also set up the uh, Sotra alert as well for one o'clock GMT, uh, which is two o'clock uh, British Standard Time. And that allows two hours to drive there, two hours to climb up and uh, about 45 minutes to set the station up. So uh, so that's all good. And we have, um, uh, I think we have another station. Yes, we do. Uh, Mike Mike Zero EFI stroke P. Uh, so maybe we can get a summit to summit over here because it's also going to be working two meters SSB, as will I. So it'll be nice. Okay, so we've just arrived at the uh, parking spot um, and uh, we can see the waterfall. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really lovely. Um, it's a little bit cold, but uh, we'll get quicker uh, as we make the ascent. Now, um, there was an amazing video that I saw yesterday and the link is over here. And um, it should be in the description as well. And it was an amazing video by um, a Swiss couple. Uh, that do Sotra activations um, and they had a KX2 and the special Elecraft antenna to go with it and it was absolutely phenomenal because I realized the big mistake I made uh, the previous activation was I was carrying so much weight um, and it was really difficult and what I've done I've stripped everything apart from what I really need so the amplifier is gone the mast is gone the guying system is gone I've literally just taken the essential part of the antenna I can hold I'm gonna hold hand hold that um, on the ground. Um, I've taken away the SWR meter, all the patch cords, everything. So uh, the only thing I've got is really the FT818 um, and the antenna and a coaxial cable. That's it in terms of the radio equipment uh, and the battery. Um, so it should be a lot easier and it should be a lot more fun. But this video that I saw was a thousand times better than anything I've done. Uh, and it just shows you how amazing a radio that weighs 370 grams can be for SOTA. And for real SOTA, for real um, high point activations, you have to have a radio that's very light, a setup that's incredibly light. Um, you, you can't be taking laptops up or computers or things like that. It's, uh, it needs to be light. So I'm going to give this a go and hopefully it should be better than yesterday. Okay, so we've been going for about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, we're at currently 350 meters according to the GPS. Um, which is good, we're well on the way um, and uh, we're just uh, ascending the summit uh, from the, um, can't remember now, from the south, that's right, from the south and the views are really spectacular, they're really opening up um, as you can see over here, uh, they're really beautiful, we are going on the um, slightly shorter route uh, which has a does have a, sli a slightly a steeper ascent uh, to begin with, but then it should start to level out fairly quickly, um, and then it should be a nice gradual ascent towards the summit. So, going to keep going. Okay, we're now at 410 meters uh, mean sea level, and uh, we're continuing our meander up uh, up the steepest part of the ascent. We can see the car all the way down uh, to the bottom over there. Um, gorgeous views, amazing, amazing mountains. Again, really good for my uh, height uh, exposure um, because it is, it is definitely, you definitely feel the exposure on this one. Um, and uh, we got a little bit lost on the tracks coming up because it can be a bit confusing and the OS maps are not, I think, so up to date in terms of where you can actually go around. There was one track we tried and it was, it was very precarious, so we just uh, found another track up. So uh, that's just something to be aware of uh, on this summit. Okay, 
Okay, we're now at 510 meters and uh, we're ascending one of the one of the steepest parts now, but it's absolutely beautiful. You can see the wilderness all around. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we've got a stream going over here. I'm getting bloody hot now because I basically went up in my um, mountain equipment thermal, which is absolutely amazing. I thoroughly recommend the brand. This has lasted me over two years and it's like new. It's, it, it works amazingly well. But when we started, it was very cold um, because we were all starting from quite a high point. Um, and, uh, but as you, as you start to ascend, you get really hot. So you have to kind of strip off and then, and then uh, go up kind of in a t-shirt, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna put this in the rucksack, gonna keep going. Uh, we should turn to the west soon. Um, and uh, and then uh, hoping that it actually starts to level off. Well, it, it should do based on the contours. So, see you soon. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is do a quick uh, uh, talk about how uh, navigation, uh, which I'm by no means an expert. Uh, over here we can see, uh, as we're approaching a plateau, uh, a path that kind of goes like this. So all you do is you point the compass in the direction of where you want to go. And then, um, well, I know, that, I know the direction is, is over here. Say, say it's this, in, this, in this direction. And all you do is that you twist the slider until north lines up. Um, with the north magnetic pole, like that, uh, say over there. Now, once you've done that, uh, all you do is that you get your uh, map. I hope you can see this. Um, and then you just twist, you just turn until the the uh, the uh, reference point is pointing north. And then where this is pointing is where the uh, the real life path was pointing. So um, that gives us a. Uh, a um, a, a point of reference uh, and as we can see I don't know if you can see it right at the top um, right at the top uh, it's really on the next page but if there's a path that kind of follows this uh, line then uh, then we know that that is what the uh, real life path is representing or the direction that it's representing um, and since I know that there is just uh, just beyond the tip kind of over there it goes like that I know that we're on the right path and we're gonna turn left to intercept that path okay so we are now to, to Trammell Vellon uh, 691 meters and uh, we're making our ascent uh, to the uh, to the next summit. So we're just heading up to the final uh, summit uh, now. Uh, well, the penultimate summit, but it's the final point of ascent at 827 meters exactly at Mal Sech, which is just uh, in front of me, um, just over there. And we've um, and then we're just going to follow the ridge round to the east, um, which is a very very steep ridge. So we have to be careful. We should have some beautiful views, and uh, and then just follow that round to Kanebu, uh, uh, which is the actual final point of the um, of the summit. Um, and we should be there fairly soon. So uh, so we'll uh, touch base later on. And this is my good friend here, Yosef. Do you want to say anything for the camera? Not really. Keep well. <laughs> All okay. Right. So we're just coming up, and uh, as you can see, we've uh, really made quite a big ascent now, and we uh, we are approaching the top. One thing I will say is that if you think you can do a serious SOTA activation with any heavy equipment, you think you can think again. It's a complete joke. Um, the the station I had set up previously was about 14 kilos. Uh, everything all in way too heavy this is lovely and light um, you know so to think you can have big antenna systems or even you know decent antenna systems with amplifiers and heavy radios that can do 100 watts absolutely ridiculous okay so we've now reached Mal Sech uh, we've got the Karen just behind me over here and we're gonna start heading uh, northeast along the ridge which should be a lovely beautiful ridge walk uh, to uh, Kadebuen, which uh, I can actually see the trig point from here into the distance, just over there. So uh, it should be nice. I'm looking forward to it. 
I've got an amazing friend with me, so it should be it should be really really good. All right, check in later. We're now walking along, or we're going to be approaching the ridge of Kadir Berlin, which I'm really excited about because that's when the views really do start to open up, um, and they open up to the east. So we're just about to go now, I'm just looking at them, looking at this ridge, it does look quite amazing. Um, okay, my friends has just pointed out, oh my god, oh my god, wow, oh boy, jeez, oh boy, you have to see this, it is absolutely breathtaking, it's absolutely breathtaking, I'm just going along the ridge, this is right on the ridge now, coming off the ridge, wow, unreal. Unbelievable! Whoa! And look at that lake! Wow! Bloody hoi go! Oh my god! Bloody hell! Bloody hell this is high! Jeez! Hoi! Wow! Oh my god! Wow! 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 I don't know if you can see just how high this is uh, because there's a little bit of distortion on the GoPro, it's a little bit wide angle, but, um, but this is really amazing! This is really unbelievable. It literally, literally takes your breath away. I mean, literally takes your breath away. And that's the ridge that we, uh, oh my God, I cannot, oh my God, it's making me feel sick looking at it. Um, that's the ridge that we climbed up. This is where we climb, cl climbed up that ridge. I cannot believe that we just climbed up that ridge. And look at that beautiful lake over there at the bottom. We are really, really high. I had to like, I had to like hold this like, like. I cannot believe what we just did. My friend wants to say a few words. Go on. Don't try this at home. No, no, tell them what, 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 what your feelings were when you were walking. I just, just got an insane adrenaline rush just now. Absolutely <laughs> mental just looking at the, the cliff over there. I can't believe we were walking next to it. We didn't even notice it. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It really was. I mean, I cannot believe. I literally cannot believe we walked up that ridge. Do you know something? I've learned something else. It looks a lot more intimidating and a lot more scary than it really is. At the moment, from, from this picture, it looks... I mean, flipping insane scary. Um, I mean, just actually unimaginable. But when you're actually climbing up, it's a lot, lot easier than you think. Even for someone, and that's someone who's scared of heights. Uh, and I don't know if I'm scared of heights. I'm scared of heights. I'm definitely scared of falling. Um, so we're going to keep going. But it's just, I mean, this is something I've never experienced in my life before. That, that I mean, this high seeing that sheer drop um, and having done it, it's just phenomenal. Okay, so we've just reached the, uh, the summit. Uh, the actual trick point is a little bit further on, but we're well within the activation zone. Um, in fact, we're higher than the activation zone. We're at 830 meters. The trick point is at 826, I think. So, uh, so we're definitely, uh, definitely able to uh, to start operating from here. Um, and uh, we've got the uh, the main Karen over here, and um, the uh, the actual edge uh, ridge of the whole valley. Um, a bit too close. It's just behind me. Quebec, Juliet M1AQJ, quality CQ2 listening. Is it? 
I just turned the radio on and there was a station. Oh boy. The time for the log is uh, 15, 1746 hours. 1746. Start the timer at 1746. For CQ Soto, CQ Soto, CQ Summits on the air. Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Calling CQ Soto and listening. Mike Zero, Mike Sierra Zulu. Calling CQ from devices. Uh, station go ahead, uh, Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. CQ Soto, CQ Soto, CQ Summits on the air. Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable, calling CQ Soto. C Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable, M0 AAG Stroke P. Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable, calling CQ Soto, CQ Soto, CQ Summits on the air and listening for any calls. Two Echo Zero, Two Echo Zero station, please come again. This is Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Okay, Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha, something portable. Two E Zero, Oscar Oscar White. Yeah, Two E Zero, Oscar Oscar White, I think that was. Uh, Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Can we QSY 144.325? Yes, Is the frequency clear? Is anyone using the frequency? Mike Zero Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Uh, is the frequency in use? Anyone using the frequency? It's all clear this way from two Echo Zero Oscar Oscar Mike. Two Echo Zero, Oscar, Oscar, Mike, thank you so much for coming back to the call. You're my first contact. Uh, I'm operating a SOTA Summit, uh, Kadir Buen, uh, Golf Whiskey, Stroke November Whiskey, 012. Name is Adrian, Alpha Delta Romeo, India Alpha November, running 6 watts. 6 watts. Back to you, Two Echo Zero, Oscar, Oscar, Mike, from Mike Zero, Alpha, Alpha, Golf Stroke Portable. Okay, so we've got the call right here, Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable, 2 e Zero, Oscar Oscar Mike, doing very, very well with your six watts, located this way is Shulia Oscar, zero one Echo Kilo, Graves End in the county of Kent, thank you. Thank you, all copied, all wonderful copy. It's quite windy up here, about 30 mile an hour winds. Um, but uh, this is an eight pointer. The operating altitude is 2,730 feet um, and uh, operating from India Oscar 8 to Hotel Victor. India Oscar 8 to Hotel Victor. Back to you, uh, 2 Echo Zero, Oscar Oscar Mike, Mike Zero Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Okay, go on that there, I'll get you up on QRZ in a minute. I've got the locator in the Oscar 82, Hotel Victor, and uh, we'll lock you there. But nice contact there. Go again and I'll give you a signal report. Yeah, you're 5 and 8, 58, 5 and 8, 58. Your signal report is 5, 8 to 5, 9. No problems at all. 70, zero, Oscar, Oscar, Mike, Mike, zero, Alpha, Alpha, Golf, Stroke, Portable. 73. Yes, yeah, 73. Catch you later. Air yeah, clear with you. Okay, thank you. And QRZ from Mike, zero, Alpha, Alpha, Golf, Stroke, Portable, operating SOTA, Kadir Bulwin. CQ Sota, CQ Sota, CQ Sota, Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable, calling CQ Sota and listening. Mike Zero, uh, Golf Zero, Oscar, Oscar, Quebec. Golf Zero, Oscar, Oscar, Quebec, please come back to the call. Thank you very much. You're 5 and 9, 59. Name is Adrian, Alpha Delta Romeo, India Alpha November, operating from Golf Whiskey, Stroke November Whiskey, 012, Kadir Berwin, operating altitude is 2,730 feet. Back to you from Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Yeah, very good. Uh, I think it's Adrian. I don't think we've spoken before, Adrian. But uh, I heard you calling on 300 and follow you, follows you up here. I think I'm number two. Anyway, my name is Sean, Sierra Echo Alpha November, and the call is Golf Zero Oscar Oscar Quebec. And uh, I'm in India Oscar 82 Quebec Popper. That's why I hope that helps. 
shit. Anyway, you're five and nine plus about five dB, Adrian. No problem at all, over. Golf Zero, Oscar, Oscar, Quebec, Mike Zero, Alpha, Alpha, Golf Stroke, Portable, returning. Thank you so much for coming back to the call. You're number two in the log. Uh, G Zero, double OQ, Oscar, Oscar, Quebec. Uh, by the way, Ed, Adrian, I'm, uh, I'm just the other side of Shrewsbury, roughly midway between Shrewsbury and Telford, in a small village called Cressage, and that sits, that sits on the banks of the River Seven. Anyway, I'll let you crack on. Good to work you, and uh, find signal coming into Shropshire from Cadder Berwyn, I think. Seven three, and have a good evening. Uh, M zero A A G Adrian G zero double O Q. Alpha Shorty. Alpha Gold Stroke Portable calling CQ Soda and listening. Mike Zero X Ray Tango Kilo. Mike Zero, X-Ray, Tango, Kilo, thank you for coming back to the call. Uh, I'll give you a signal report on the next over. Name here is Adrian, Alpha, Delta, Romeo, India, Alpha, November, and I'm operating from Kadir, Berwin. Uh, so there we go, nice one there. Um, your report is at 5 and 5, 5 and 5 into Sierra, Sierra Esca. Very low down here, not, um, not a particularly lo good location, but please email me the, uh, the link, very interested. I'm moving to North Wales um, in a few weeks' time, and uh, there's a two-point soda right in the back garden in India Oscar 72. So we're uh, looking forward to making lots of contacts for soda. Uh, the name's Phil this way from M0XTK. M0XTK, hi Phil, uh, from M0AAG stroke P. Yeah, no, that all sounds wonderful. And uh, yeah, just send me an email on qrz.com later on and I'll uh, I'll send you the link to the to the video. I'm on QRZ. Huh? Mike Zero, Alpha, Alpha, Golf. Portable, this is Golf 8 in the uh, Quebec, Lima. Uh, Alpha, 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 Golf. Golf 8, India, Quebec, Lima. Golf 8, India, Quebec, Lima. Thank you for coming back to the call. Uh, your report is 5 and, five and 1, 5 and 1, 51. Um, I've just rotated the beam round to your direction to maximise the signal. Uh, I think you're a little bit faint to begin with. Name is Adrian, Alpha Delta Romeo, India Alpha November, operating from Kadir Berwin. Uh, Golf Whiskey Stroke November Whiskey 012. Uh, back to you uh, from Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Yeah, Golf Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Portable, this is Golf Age India, Quebec, Lima. Yeah, your uh, weak signal here too, you're uh, about a 4x1, about a 4x1, so uh, I just missed your name. I think it begins with A and uh, your location. Name here is Martin, name is Martin, name is Martin, and the location is 20 kilometres north of Portsmouth. 20 kilometres north of Portsmouth in Italy, Oscar, 9 wow. zero, Lima X-Ray. 90 Lima X-ray, G-8IQL. Uh, G8IQL, G8IQL, I cannot believe that I'm getting uh, near Portsmouth. That is just unbelievable, really, really unbelievable. Uh, I'm just running six watts into a five element beam, but the altitude here is 2,730 feet. So, um, so that could be why. Yeah, M0, Alpha, Alpha, Portsmouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That will be useful. Uh, I'm just going to look you up on uh, qrz.com, uh, but uh, if you'd uh, go ahead again and uh, give your details, that would be great. Uh, you have got my location correct, 20K North of Portsmouth, and the name correct as well. M0 AAG Portable G8 IQL. Yes, G8 IQL. Okay. Give me your location again, go ahead. The location is India Oscar 82 Hotel Victor. India Oscar 82 Hotel Victor. India Oscar 82 Hotel Victor. And the summit reference is Golf Whiskey Stroke November Whiskey 012. Golf Whiskey November Whiskey 012. Yeah, Roger. India Oscar 82 Hotel Victor. And just give me your name again. Go ahead. Name is Adrian, Adrian, Alpha, Delta, Romeo, India, Alpha, November. Adrian, Alpha, Delta, Romeo, India, Alpha, November. Yeah, Roger, Adrian, that's, that's all good. Uh, so, uh, we have these basic details, let's hope for uh, the conditions sometime. Um, I'm running about 200 watts into a 16-element uh, um, toner. It's not very high off the ground. Uh, M0 AAG Portable, this is G8IQL. 
Okay, G A I Q L. I'm going to say 73 for now because it's getting quite windy up here. Um, and uh, and I hope to work you again later in the log from M zero A A G stroke P. George zero United Japan kilowatt. George Zero, United Japan Kilowatt, a booming signal. Thank you for coming back to the call. Name is Adrian, Alpha Delta Romeo, India Alpha November, operating Sota Golf Whiskey, Stroke November Whiskey, 012. Back to you from Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Yeah, Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable, G Zero UJK returning. Hello, Adrian, lovely to meet you. You sound a bit younger than what you are. I'm not sure why, but your audio transmission I thought you was probably a bit younger than what you are, but tremendous signal from you also. I've got you 5758, 5758. Name here is Colin, Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Indigo, November. Uh, we're located in JO01, Charlie, Japan. JO01, Canada, Juliet. And uh, that's uh, close to the Dartford Bridge Crossing and uh, the Brands Hatch Motor Racing Circuit uh, just down the road from me here. So that's where we're located, uh, Adrian. Good to hear you on the summit there and uh, sounds like you're enjoying yourself and having a good day out. Sorry to hear about the wind. It's quite chilly and windy down here as well. So I can't imagine what it's like at 2,000 feet uh, ASL high height. Uh, Mike Zero Alpha Alpha Golf Portable G Zero UJK. G0, UJK, M0, AAG stroke P returning. Thank you, I copied all of that really well. Your signal report is 5 and 8, 58. Um, and the altitude is 2,730 feet. But Mick told me you was here. Mike told me you was here uh, to Echo Zero Oscoska Mike. So I thought I'd jump in and give you a, a contact. Great to hear you. And you're doing tremendously well with six watts and the five element uh, holding it in position. Um, yeah, I'm using a 12 element long space Yagi, a bit like mix one. I've got about 180 watts on to you at the moment and using the, uh, the 9700 by eye. Icon. The antenna's new, it's only been up two weeks, so very pleased to work you and uh, uh, look forward to hear, hearing it on the link there. So yeah, I'll drop you an email later. Many thanks, stay safe and good luck to you and uh, be careful how you come back. Make sure you get home safely. Uh, 73 and uh, look forward to working again around the bands. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you uh, rest your arm or work a few more, whichever you decide. Take care, Adrian, and thanks again. Been a pleasure to hear you. Mike Zero Alpha Alpha. Alpha Golf Portable, G0 UJK, 73. G0 UJK, 73. Thank you again. And a QRZ from Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Uh, Golf Zero X-Ray Bravo Uniform. Golf Zero X-Ray Bravo Uniform, wonderful signal. Thank you for coming back to the call. Um, I just rotated the beam round to you. Name here is Adrian, Alpha Delta Romeo, India Alpha November, operating a Sota Kadir Buren. Uh, reference is Golf Whiskey, Stroke November Whiskey 012, uh, uh, operating in uh, in Wales, um, just uh, east of the Snowdonia National Park. Um, and the uh, altitude here is 2,730 feet into India Oscar 82 Hotel Victor. Back to you, Mike Zero. Uh, oh, I've forgotten the call sign, but uh, it's fine. I've got it in the log. From Mike Zero, Alpha Alpha Golf Stroke Portable. Yeah, Golf Zero X-Ray Bravo Uniform. Just turning the uh, antenna around to you now, actually, so that should be stronger still. Uh, you're 5'9 uh, you're plus now with me. Uh, lovely signal. Just running 10 watts this way, so only slightly more than you. Um, location is right near Jodrell Bank in Cheshire, um, the, uh, the big radio telescope, so very, uh, very close to that. Uh, nice to work you, Adrian. Uh, name this way is Ian, and uh, I'm, I'm also running a similar size Yagi to the previous station, which is a, uh, a nine element um, um, LFA, which I've uh, made myself. It's not very high though, it's only about uh, about the kind of apex of the roof height, because uh, the mat's down at the moment, but uh, yeah, great to, uh, great to hear you out there, and I uh, hope you're not too cold and, um, and it's not too windy up there for you. Uh, back to you Adrian, G0XBU. G0 XPU M0 AAG stroke P returning. No, 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 it's absolutely fine. The wind's actually died down a bit and we're operating from a Karen, so uh, we do get a little bit of protection. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, you, your, your pal's doing well. Your signal report, your, your report is 5 and 9 plus plus end stop. Um, so yeah, really, really good. Um, a really fantastic signal there. I'll say 73 for now, uh, and um, uh, just because I'm getting a bit cold and I need to uh, have something to eat. But <laughs> I'll just see if there's any other stations as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, cheers, Adrian. No worries. I'll, uh, I'll do that now and, uh, and look forward to uh, watching it. Uh, some drink now. Uh, enjoy the dinner. <laughs> cheers. T0X to you. Okay, thank you. 73 and... Okay, so we finished the activation. It was very quick. Um, and uh, when I say very quick, it was about 20 minutes. And I can say, what have I learned from this activation? This is the first eight-pointer that I've ever done. So a very serious uh, summit indeed, at 2,730 feet. The one thing I can say is that when you're doing any serious um, mountain, um, you don't have time to do radio for a lot when you're at the top. It gets very windy very quickly. Um, it's, cr it's literally up and running straight away and uh, you're just trying to activate it. You don't have that long. You don't have time to muck about with radio settings. You don't have time to muck about with antennas. It's got to work very quickly, very fast. Um, and you're not really thinking about filtering or really anything like that. It's, uh, it's, it's quite an intense experience. Um, it was successful, but um, even with the, you know, the, 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 the little equipment that I, that I went up with this time, it's literally just the FT818 um, and that was plugged directly into the antenna. I was relying on the SWR meter um, from the um, from the radio. And sorry about that. Just had to climb over a fence. But um, yeah, so I was just relying on the built-in SWR meter from the radio, just running six watts. Um, and even that was difficult. You know, it was not not an easy thing to do. So yeah, you know, you, you want you want something as light as possible really light having a built-in ATU is an amazing advantage for again serious serious uh, SOTA, SOTA summits um, you know if it means you can just plug in an antenna quickly into the radio uh, and, and off off you go um, so uh, so that that's kind of what I learned from this one so I might look into some kind of portable uh, antenna I can literally just plug into the uh, 818 um, and uh, be up and running maybe on HF. I think it'll be quite, quite fun to do. Um, but uh, you really don't have long at these summits to muck around. It's got to be grab and go, uh, grab and go. Uh, that's the that's the story. Um, the main thing that you're you're concerned with is the navigation, the weather, um, the time to make sure that the sun doesn't set. Um, it's much more about the mountain climbing than it is about radio when you're doing high summits. So so that's the thing. It was very nice. Um, the the signal went really really far just using six watts. See that's even without the amplifier. Um, I got into the Dartford Bridge uh, near London. I got past London actually. Got to some someone 20 kilometres north of Portsmouth. Um, which is absolutely phenomenal. I'm just imagining what that looks like on the map. Um, so, so it's incredible. Anyway, um, I need to go back now um, and uh, hopefully we'll get down nice and safely later on. It's now getting uh, very dark. Um, this is what not to do. <laughs> uh, we left actually quite late, so uh, so uh, we're coming back down now. It's eight thirty-five. Um, so uh, I think we're gonna get the head torch out and uh, keep going. All right. So now it's really getting quite dark, and we're uh, heading back. Uh, with the head torch on now so we should be back in about well hopefully not too long I don't want to give an estimate just now but uh, it, uh, this is what it's like going back in the dark it's <laughs> a little bit more scary uh, but uh, it's actually very peaceful it's very quiet and um, as long as you uh, you know uh, you were paying attention to the way up uh, you should generally, I think, be okay um, going back. 